A wooden block of mass 2 kilograms is being pushed across the pond, starting from rest for 3 seconds. During this time, the block has an acceleration of 2.5 metres per second squared. Subsequently, when the only horizontal force acting on the block is a constant resistance of motion, the block travels 8 metres before coming to rest. Calculate the magnitude of the resistance to motion. Okay, so first of all, if we consider it between um, T being between 0 and 3, and finding what the final velocity would be at 3 seconds. So we've got u is 0 because it goes from rest. a is 2.5 meters per second, and t is 3 seconds. So substituting that in, we're going to get that v is 0, plus 2.5 times 3, which gives me that at 3 seconds, the velocity would be 7.5 meters per second. Now considering the second bit, so after 3 seconds, u is 7.5 meters per second, V will be zero because it's going to come to uh, rest after it has gone the eight meters. And now we need to do, need the acceleration for this part of the journey. So using V squared is equal to U squared plus two A S, we're going to have that zero squared is going to be equal to 7.5 squared plus two times A times my S, which is eight. We're arranging that for A, we're going to get that A is going to be minus 7.5 squared divided by 2 times 8. Just a word of warning here, you're squaring and then taking minus. So that will give you a an acceleration of minus 225 over 64 meters per second uh, squared. And we would expect it to be negative because it's going to slow down. Right, if we now draw a force diagram for this situation. So we've got our block of two kilograms we've got uh, the water here it's got a resistance motion of r that we're going to find and we've got an acceleration of minus 225 over 64 meters per second squared then if we resolve that horizontally you've got no force this way but we've got a negative force that way so minus r is equal to mass which is two times the acceleration which is minus 22564 so the minus signs cancel out and we get that r is two times 225 over 64, which gives you 7.031, and therefore a resistance of 7.03 newtons. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the resistance to motion having in the second part of the journey. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.